Welcome. I'm Dr. Steve Grinstead, author of the book Freedom from Suffering, A Journey of Hope, and the developer of the addiction-free pain management system. I'm very interested in what's going on today in the pain management world. Unfortunately, many pain patients are not being adequately treated for their pain conditions. On one hand is the overprescribed population, and on the other hand is the underprescribed. I'm starting to see more and more on the chat rooms and in the chronic pain support groups around the internet that there's a lot of anxiety and fear. Fear that the government, the Drug Enforcement Agency or other law enforcement agency is going to come down and crack down on people for taking prescribed medications for their chronic pain. Now in some cases this does need to happen, but that's a very small percentage. I believe that the war on drugs has now moved into a phase of war on pain patients and war on pain management prescribers. The pain patients are the ones that are going to get hurt the most. Because of this anxiety and fear, a lot of prescribers are now refusing to treat people with some chronic pain conditions that require a lot of medication. So what is happening is a lot of patients are getting scared. I've had calls and emails from people all over the country saying, my doctor said he can't treat me anymore and gave me one week supply, three days supply at one time and told me I have to find somebody else because he's afraid that the Drug Enforcement Agency, the DEA, is going to get him. Unfortunately, the same mentality that ran the failed war on drugs is now seeming to run the war on pain management. They're fighting a supply side war. They're focusing on the drugs and they need to look on the demand side, in this case the pain management side. I do believe chronic pain is becoming an epidemic. Well over 116 million Americans and we're spending over 600 billion a year. And I also believe very strongly that appropriate healthcare professionals need to be treatment planning, not law enforcement. Law enforcement cannot dictate how many pills somebody gets a month. That is just wrong. On the other hand, we do need to monitor, and those systems are in place. They just need to be enforced. We do not need new laws. We just need to enforce the rules and guidelines and the laws that are in place. For many, 85, 90% of the prescribers, there is not a problem. And as we saw in Florida last year, it's a small percentage of the pain providers that are causing a big part of the public outcry and press. Join me on my quest to make sure people can obtain freedom from suffering. And I believe that freedom from suffering is a right, but I also believe it's a responsibility. And as someone living with chronic pain for over 30 years, I can tell you I haven't suffered with my pain for 28, and I don't ever want to go back there. And part of the reason that I'm speaking out so much is because I want people to know that there's hope. So join me. Maybe I'm Don Quixote on a quest, but join me anyway. We can make a difference if we join together.